Today we're going to take a single sheet of paper and turn it into an eight page mini comic book. We'll show you how to do that and watch out for chickens. So to do this you'll need an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper, a pencil, an inking pen, black ink, maybe a marker or two if you want thick lines, maybe an eraser, and how about a pair of scissors? Ready to go? We're going to hold our paper wide. We'll do three folds. First fold brings the top down, just like this. Line up the corners, slide up to find the middle line there. And then we'll bring the left over. This is fold number two here. And then fold number three, we'll bring the left over again. And this gives us our final page size. But it's not a book yet. We have to unfold all this, open it up. And I'm going to look down into the valley here, place my left hand and reverse that center fold. There we go. Now I'll mark this so you can see it. I'm looking at this fold right here. Now the paper is folded along this edge. It is open on this edge. And I'm going to grab the scissors and cut along, make my center cut along the fold just past the half line, a little past the half line, so that when I open up the paper, I will have a center cut right across two folds there. Now I'm going to lift that center part up and twist it to either side to sharpen the folds at the base so that it looks like two tenths end to end, just like that. And now the part you've been waiting for, the famous chicken beak maneuver. We open up that chicken beak to make the letter X. Actually, let me show you that from another side, another angle. So here we go, opening up the chicken beak. There we go. We will find that letter X, the top of the page there. We'll bring three arms together, and then we'll bring the fourth arm to make the back cover, and that is our book. I'll open it up and do it again. You can practice this several times. Do it a hundred times and you will get pretty proficient at it. Now that it's in book form, we can take a pencil to number the pages. Number one is our front cover. Two and three will be the beginning of a story. Four and five will be the middle of a story. Pages six and seven are the end of a story. And page eight is the back cover. Flip through them all. And that is an eight page book, blank and ready to draw in. Notice the front cover has a fold along the side so the book is easier to open. Let's also try this. If you have 11 by 17 paper, you can do the same fold. Fold number one, top down. Fold number two, left side over. Fold number three, left side over again. And look at these two together. Clearly 11 by 17 gives you double the page size as eight and a half by 11. So let's go with this one. We'll open it up, we'll reverse that center fold. We'll mark our target fold there. Put in the center cut, just past the midline. Then we can get the chicken beak, sharpen the sides there. Open up that chicken beak, find the X, bring three arms together, bring the fourth around, and there's our eight-page book. Numbering pages is the same. Page one is the front cover, page two and three are the beginning, page four and five are the middle, page six and seven are the ends, and page eight is the back cover. There's our eight-page book, blank and ready to draw. 